You are looking live at Launchpad 2 on the Yoshinobu Launch Complex at the Tanegashima Space Center on the southern coast of Japan, where it is early Thursday morning and where the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency's H-2B rocket stands fully fueled, ready to lift off less than 31 minutes from now on a delivery run to the International Space Station. Encased in the launch shroud on the top of the 186-foot-tall rocket is JAXA's unpiloted H-2 transfer vehicle, the HTV-9 cargo craft, also dubbed Kanatori, the Japanese word for white stork. This is an historic occasion for JAXA, the final launch of an H-2B rocket that made its debut in September 2009 with the launch of the first HTV cargo ship. Today, we'll be witnessing the final flight of the current genre of HTV vehicles. JAX is currently developing a new and improved class of HTV craft called the HTV-X, which will not only carry more cargo than the current HTV, but instead of being captured by the station's robotic arm for installation to the Harmony module, will automatically dock to the complex's international docking adapters. The next generation of HTV cargo craft will be launched on the Japanese Space Agency's new H-3 rocket. This view, a closer view of the uh, H-2B rocket, you see uh, the vehicle bathed in blue light. This uh, in honor of healthcare workers fighting on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic and in honor of uh, all of the workers at the Tanegashima Space Center in southern Japan who have worked uh, through uh, the pandemic to prepare the vehicle for launch. T-minus 14 seconds and counting, standing by for engine ignition. We have engine start. And we have liftoff. A rising sun over the land of the rising sun as Jax's H2B rocket and the HTB9 cargo craft take flight. Roll pitch and yaw program in effect. The H-2B rocket uh, takes flight to the International Space Station. Liftoff occurring right on the dot at 12.31 p.m. even Central Time, 2.31 a.m. Japan Time. 44 seconds into the flight. Just passing one minute into the flight, everything continuing to look good. Four solid rocket boosters, two liquid fuel engines propelling uh, the HTV-9 towards its preliminary orbit, coming up on the one minute 30 second mark into the flight. Coming up on the two-minute mark into the flight, coming up on solid rocket booster shutdown and separation. And we have solid rocket booster jettison. Two and a half minutes into the flight, first stage engines are continuing uh, to fire as they will until about the five minute 46 second mark into the flight, at which point uh, those engines will shut down, the first stage will separate.
And now we have confirmation of uh, separation of the first and second stages. This is uh, animation driven by real-time telemetry from the Range Control Center at Tanagashima. Meanwhile, the International Space Station has crossed uh, the west coast of Africa, moving from southwest to northeast. And uh, we have a report of a second stage shutdown on time. We'll be uh, standing by for spacecraft separation moments from now. And uh, this view now from the Range Control Center at Tanagashima, applause as uh, we have confirmation of spacecraft separation, the HTV-9 now in its preliminary orbit, a flawless launch and a flawless climb to orbit for the final uh, HTV vehicle now well on its way to the International Space Station.